Native American art has been around even before the white man invaded the Indian's sacred land. The art that was made was actually made of purpose to the people. The Native Americans never let anything go to waste. They were innovative and creative with the materials that they used to create their pieces of work. When an animal was hunted for food, the Native American women would find useful ways to use all the leftover parts of the animal for their art and or useful traditional tools, regalia, and items for survival. Again, nothing went to waste. This was a unique skill that the women possessed and carried on for generations to generations. The art is dying along with many of the other Native American traditions. However, here at Saginaw Chippewa Tribal College, we are trying to instill the once valuable skill and bring those skills to life again. Saginaw Chippewa Tribal College offers a wide range of ways to incorporate the Native American art and teach the students not only the history, but the many uses of the lost art. Classes are offered to teach Native American beading, Native American art, and workshops are even brought to our campus to instill and bring forth an array of the lost heritage. Workshops have included the making of baskets, dream catcher making, Native American jewelry, corn dolls, moccasins, bandolier bags, and painting, just to mention a few. The art classes draw a lot of the students in. We are taught multiple ways of beading, such as lazy stitch, straight stitch, and double stitch, the use of the designs that are made for regalia. The students at Saginaw Chippewa Tribal College take interest and pride in the items that they make, so much that students have entered their pieces of Native work into Native American art competitions. Just this past March in 2016, five of our SCTC students entered their projects of fine art at the AHEC conference in Minneapolis, Minnesota. One student, Gilberto E. Franco, entered four pieces of art into the contest. He is of honorable mention. Gilberto entered a bandolier bag, which was in the category of mixed media, bringing home the award of People's Choice and First Place for his piece entitled Shells of Strength. The bag was made of leather, intricate beadwork, turtle shells, feathers, and deer toes. This piece of work captivated everyone at the art show and competition. His other piece that gained recognition was a medallion entitled Meeting of the Clans. This was solely entered in the category of beading. Gilberto brought home second place on this piece. He also entered a clay plaque and corn dolls. Another student brought home a People's Choice Award for her digital media project. One student also entered a beaded medallion that was definitely creative and time consuming. Two other students entered clay busts to be judged. Although they did not bring home an award, we here at SCTC are proud of them and find it quite inspiring that the students were able to share their pieces of Native American art. The students here at SCTC are learning so much in the ways of Native American art, all that participate in trying to bring back the art should be commended. For each and every single piece of art that is made by the students here at Saginaw Chippewa Tribal College is unique, elaborate, creative, and very time consuming and are made with much pride. Even though we just went over a few items that were taught to our students, there are many different types of art, which the resources that are used are that of animal and of Mother Earth. Baskets are made from the trees. The initial use of the baskets were for the women of the tribes for gathering food, storing food, and even made for cradle boards for their young ones. Now the baskets are used more for decoration than the conventional uses originally intended. With that being said, the making of birch bark baskets still need to go on. After all, it is a unique art that still needs to stay alive within our community. When an animal is hunted and the meat stripped for eating, most of the remains are used in some sort of way. Bird's feathers are used for a fan, decoration, headdresses, bustles, jewelry, and other forms of fine art. When a deer is killed for the rations, the hide is tanned and used for clothing. When the fur is left on the hide, it is also used for clothing and blankets. The tendons is used as a form of thread for sewing. 
The bones are used for tools, weapons, decoration, along with the toes. Bones are even shaved down for the use of a needle. Nothing of the deer went to waste. The buffalo was killed not only for the meat, but for the hide and several uses same as the deer. A porcupine was also a useful animal for the quills were used to decorate an array of items, and the hair was applied to the men's regalia and still used the same in today's day and age. Native Americans take pride in all of their skills, whether it's the skills of hunting, farming, song and dance, and especially their art. Here at Saginaw Chippewa Tribal College, we strive hard to keep the various uses of art an essential. We currently are a small tribal college, however, we take pride and honor with the heritage and all it has to offer. Our pride and dedication to Native American art is far bigger than that of our campus. In hopes of a new college, we, the people of Saginaw Chippewa Tribal College, will continue with more Native American art classes and continue the education that we have already instilled and participated in. There is no limit to what SCTC has to offer our community and fellow Natives. Here at Saginaw Chippewa Tribal College, we are committed to give forth to our community, not only with education, but with the teachings of Native American art.